What's up, everyone? It's your boy Hector. And I'm Alan, and today we have a lot of news for you guys. Can't wait. SVTV starts now. Alan, did you know we're having a history of semen? What? No way. Yeah, we have a sneak peek. Let's check it out. Ms. Evans came up with the idea because the class of 2020 is the 100th graduating class from Seaman High School. And so um, the school started in 1920. And so she came up with this idea and thought it'd be a great idea. And so then I thought about it for a while and then decided to, to pursue it. We are making this documentary to inform the semen community just about the history because, you know, a lot of people don't really know the backstory behind Fred Seaman and, you know, how we started out with a successful football program and all these different things people don't know about. So we're basically just trying to inform them of this. Currently, the broadcast journalism two students are working on the documentary and they're uh, this semester they're working on the first building which was 1920 to 1953. So basically what I'm doing uh, over Fred Seaman, basically I'm just going over what he did uh, uh, from birth to uh, the creating of the high school to when he left in, 19, in the 1930s. In the documentary I'm doing the 1951 flood. I've had to do research about the flood levels, um, what the community did during the flood and what they did after the flood and how it affected the semen area. For the semen documentary I'm working on the general just history overall from when it was founded in 1920 all the way up until 1954 when they moved to the new building. I believe that this part of it is might be the most difficult part because of the age of or because of how far back we have to look to get the information. Um, we're looking at 1920 or previous to 1920 even if you want to look at Fred Seaman's history prior to 1920 and then through 1953. The next uh, parts of the documentary are the next couple buildings and so at least that history is newer so it'll be easier to find people we could interview that um, are still alive as well as maybe even find video. Wow, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Well, now let's get ready to our daily news. Students who do not return library materials will be charged for those items in power school. Any other questions, contact Mrs. Esser in the library. Seniors can check in. <laughs> Seniors can check in their laptops in the Writing Center today and tomorrow all day. If you have a documents that you want to preserve for future what? references, you will need to back them up to a non-USD 345 student's account. <laughs> for Or save them to a flash drive. Mrs. Simons has some for sale if anyone is interested. The Robotics Club still has a few spinners for sale. All spinners are $7 until sold out. Spinners are available in room in 15 during seminar, before or after school. They will be also available on the front door of the Commons during third and fourth lunches on Wednesday and Friday. Now on to the sports with Hector, with myself. You just received your sharp exam waiver and you think, I can't wait to use this, but what if? I have discipline points. I've missed more than 11 class periods this semester. I want to use this for my college class. My teacher has to let me use the waiver. I don't have an A in the class. Get in trouble with tardies, absences, or discipline before the exam day. I can miss school if I use my waiver. Seniors will turn in their exam waiver on May 12th in the cafeteria during seminar. All other students will turn in theirs on May 19th in the cafeteria during seminar.
Hey, you know what I can't wait for about this summer? I can't wait just to go and play games in my school laptop. Augie, you know you have to turn your laptop in, right? Wait a minute, I do? Bruh. Yeah, you have to turn it in after your last final of the day. You need to turn in your laptop to the library. Prior to your check-in, you need to organize desktop materials, clean your device, back up your device, remove personal items, bring charger to your check-in, and have your laptop fully charged. Each grade level has a different check-in date. You know, I'll make sure I do that. Saturday, May 20th at 9 o'clock a.m., Con O'Neill Orthopedics and Sports Physicians will be conducting $20 physicals for the upcoming high school sports seasons at the Kansas Park Clinic. Half of the proceeds will be donated to the high school athletic programs. Student athletes in need of financial assistance this year, Con O'Neill will be providing 50 free physicals for those who are in need. All freshman wrestlers who plan to return for the 2017-18 season, please stop by Coach Elliott's room for your summer information packet. Sophomore and junior wrestlers, stop by Coach Kelly's room for your packets. If you are a male or female, non-football player, and are interested in participating in the summer weights and conditioning program, please see Coach Cox and or Coach, Coach Schaefer in room E14 for more information during or after school. Fresh off their top three team performances at the Centennial League Champions last Friday, the SHA SHS girls swim and dive team compete this Friday and Saturday at the 5A state championships held at the Nat Natatorium in Hummers Park Sports Park. Come on out and cheer on your Vikings this weekend. Start time for Friday is 2 o'clock and Saturday is 3.30. State team members for SHS are the following. Congratulations to our all league team members. Now over to Alan with the weather. Hey, what's up, Vags? It's me, Alan. Today I'm going to bring you your weather. Uh, for today's forecast, it's currently 75 degrees, and tonight it's going to drop down to 71. For your three day forecast, it looks like it's going to cool down. So, yeah. And today in history, it's National Cherry Cobbler Day, and it's Bob Saget turns 61. Now, back to your anchors. Hector, do you have any plans for summer? I plan on doing a lot of pool parties. Here's what other people have going on during the summer plans for this summer? Yeah, I'll be uh, working with the Kansas Lottery this summer and I'll drive my Buick there every day with the deer skull on the front and I also put lights on the deer skull so it lights up in the dark but it kind of looks stupid at day. Do you, Do you have any cool plans for this summer? Uh, working five days a week and then basketball. No. Do you have any cool plans for this summer? I work. I really don't. I am going to work he here for most of the summer. I'm going to go to a conference to learn how to be a better educator and serve my student body more effectively. Yeah, I plan on making sandwiches at the Hunters Ridge Subway, store number 3726. If you come in, I'll hook you up with some meat and cheese for no additional cost. I might slide an extra cookie your way. Taking a family vacation to Mexico. Do you have any cool plans for the summer? Yeah, I'm fixing to mow a lot of lawns and do a little bit of fishing. I'm planning to go fishing a lot and go work for my grandma. What are you doing this summer? I'm going to go back to France and I'm going to New York City and I'm going to Greece and that's about it. No, I'm just going to work full time and uh, go to... F hey bro, today is our last day doing SVTV. Aren't you excited? Come on dude, don't talk about it. It's going to be okay, Alan. We're leaving you with bloopers from our carpool karaoke. This has been Alan and Hector signing off from SVTV forever. Forever. Susan, I mean, Mrs. Sennauer, you what have a hair out of place. Do I? <laughs> I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel got, a little, got a little shine going on. It's like my dad got bald when he was like 25, so I'm just kind of waiting for it. <laughs> um, and it's just a, like a really good sing-along if you've ever seen the film uh, Animal House, which is uh, probably it. not approved for school, but uh, on your own time. Uh, yeah. I watched it when my dad wasn't home. That's... <laughs>
<laughs> wasn't ready for yeah, that. Yeah, because I didn't know the first thing. <laughs> put that on the study <laughs> guide. <laughs> well, that's why I was talking to him, and he said it the, put the guitar part. Because the guitar part, part kind of gets it funky. Yeah, yeah. Well, then yeah. he's going to end it. I'm just messing so. with you. Yeah, I'll try. Okay. During the basketball season, I kind of made myself a fool in front of the girls. I tried to do some of my rap songs, <laughs> and it didn't quite turn out too well, so I'm here to redeem myself. No, I don't know how to. Ooh. You totally undersold this thing. Wow. This is great. I did undersell it. Heated seats? Can I roll down the windows? Yeah, if you want to. No, no, apparently I cannot. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there you go. It's, all about, it's all about feeling the music. All right, and I feel the music, and hey, we're just gonna get down. Let's do this. Right. Let's get down. Let's do this. Behold, oh, you're born king. Uh, <laughs> of course, you gotta get the answer. Song. It's kind of catchy. Also. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it pretty catchy. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. Good. That was actually you think really you did good. right. I thought you guys were on like target. On target. I kind of felt like yeah. I was just on doing spot, this. Spot yeah. I was just kind of bobbing my head and like, except for the chorus. You keep me forgetting to you, babe. <laughs>